Hi guys, how are you? This is Iska and I'm coming at you with another Dollar Tree haul. Uh, first of all, I want to go ahead and apologize for my voice. I do have allergies and they're pretty bad. This is why I also chose not to be on video because I feel like crap. I look like crap. So, um... I'm just going to show you guys what I got at Dollar Tree. Also, next video will be a collective Target makeup haul. And I'm really excited because I found some new products. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to show you guys three um, Halloween things that I found. The first one is this face paint kit. And it looks like this. They did have different colors. Next is this door cover. I love Halloween. It's really one of my favorite holidays. Is it a holiday? I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> and the next thing is this 40 zipper seal bags. And they look like this, and I thought this would be fun to hand out to the trick-or-treaters. We get very little around this area, but um, I figured it'd be cute. <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and get to some household items and then we'll go into the cosmetic slash nail makeup stuff. So the first thing I found was the Arm & Hammer Munchkin Surface Cleaner. Now in my last video I had hauled the uh, stain treatment and I had regretted not getting the surface cleaner but I did find it so I'm really excited. I did pick up one. The lady at Dollar Tree told me she bought several of them and that she really liked them and that they smelled really good. So. That's exciting to hear. The next thing I found was this bottle, uh, bottle with snack holder. That's what it's called, and it looks like this. It was only, I could only find it in green, but I figured it was still handy to have in the car. So, you know, right here we can put the goldfish crackers and juice or water for my kids. So, that was exciting to find. The next thing is this Scotch duct tape metallic cupcakes, and it looks like this. This was the only the only design that I could find in Scotch duct tape. And the last two things that I got were uh, this household cord. Uh, in my bed, I like to use my tablet, and there isn't a plug-in long enough for the charger, so I figured this would do me good <laughs> and last thing it's not a household item it's a food item but I was really surprised to see it I want to apologize for my son he's over there playing with my nail polishes anyways it's the Welsh's Concord grape jelly and this is a 32 ounce and the first thing I looked at was the expiration date and it is September 23rd 2015 I don't think it'll show but I looked at all of them and they all said September 2015 so that was really exciting to find. I think that at Walmart, this goes maybe for $3 or more. I'm not really sure. But that was that. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Now, I saw this, and the first thing I thought was fancy. I could imagine using this around the holidays, you know, November, December, drinking, you know, hot apple cider or hot chocolate with, you know, whipped cream on top and a candy cane. I just thought that these were gorgeous, so... Uh, I started to see them a lot, and then little by little, I just see less and less of them. So, pick some up if you guys like these. Alright, now let's go ahead and get into the makeup. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Milani Powder Eyeshadows. And I did find four of them. And they look like this. All of them are matte except for this one. This one has a shimmer satin to it. But, <clears throat> it doesn't say the name, it just says number 9. Just looks like a khaki color. This one is a light gold. A dark brown. And this one is just a beige. You can see them better like that. So that was all I found for the Milani pressed eyeshadows. I was hoping to find the blue one and the black one and the white one but no luck yet <clears throat> the next thing I found from Milani was this Milani glitzy lip gloss and I found two of them there was one open at the store so 
I swatched it on my hand. Yes, I did. And these are very glittery, but they're not sticky, and I couldn't feel the glitter between my fingers. So we'll just have to try them out on the lips. But these are beautiful, and these are the 3D Glitzy. I'm sure you guys have seen them in other videos. The next thing I found was this Milani Color Show Nail Polish in limited edition, the Nudes. And this is color 758 Bronze Beam. And it looks like this, and I just... Did a quick little one on my nail here. Looks like that. Um, the next thing. Oh, I forgot this one. And this is, I did haul six of these last video. But this is a new color. And this is number 111 Cotton Candy. It looks like that. Let me go ahead and open it. <laughs> all right it looks like this you guys and I'm looking at it and it looks like a frost I'm not really into frost like lipsticks let me go ahead and swatch it here all right it is definitely a frost um I probably won't end up keeping this I'll probably give it to a friend looks like that or maybe it'll be a nice exit in between the I mean in the middle of the lips I'm not sure yet um the last lip item that I got was this Chap Ice Lip Balm and Cherry. I already had the strawberry and watermelon, so I decided to pick up the cherry. Everyone raves about them. I personally think that the strawberry one has a strong flavor to it, but it will look cute in my little bowl that I have. And the last two things that I found were this color changing nail strips in like zebra design and I guess they changed to purple so this is what they look like I haven't tested them out yet I do want to try the other nail strips that they have from this brand which is called uh, Donna Michelle if you guys have tried these um, the different patterns in this brand please comment down below and let me know what you guys think of them I don't want to spend my money on them if they're not going to stick, but if they're good, please let me know so I can buy some of the designs. They do have some cute designs on there. Um, and then the last thing was Sassy and Chic Fashion Nails. Last night I was watching videos up until about 12 o'clock in the morning, and most of the videos were commenting how these are great nails. And how um, they stayed on for a week, uh, two weeks, and they looked really good on the YouTubers. So I thought, okay, well, let's give these a try. But I never thought of buying the glue. So I guess I need to buy the glue. The YouTuber that I was watching uh, said that she had used the Sassy and Chic glue. So next time I'm at Dollar Tree, I will have to pick up the glue. But that's it, you guys. That's all. I have from the Dollar Tree. Oh, one thing here. It's this uh, seasonal edition extra gum in apple crisp. Guys, it really tastes like apple crisp. Crisp. It really does. It is really good. So if you see it, pick it up. This was the very last one. Now I kind of regret not getting them when I had seen them in previous Dollar Tree. So when I go again and if I find some more, I will get them. But these are really good. So guys, like always, please comment down below. Let me know what you have found at your Dollar Tree. I am on the hunt for Physician Formula, the shimmer strips and the bronzers, and I just can't seem to find them in my area. Um, I am to the point where I want to ask one of the other YouTubers to, you know, find them for me. I'll send them money and they can mail them to me. But um, I've asked in several Dollar Trees and I guess they won't be getting them and they won't be getting Physician Formula anytime soon. So that really sucks. Um, but comment down below. Let me know Let me know what else you have found. Um, if you have a Dollar Tree video, link it down below so I can go ahead and check it out. I always want to find some good stuff at the Dollar Tree. So please subscribe. I will have more hauls coming up. Um, comment, like the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully next time I will sound better. All right, you guys. Bye.